<laughs> for me, but the girl rapper wave is over. Damn. Damn. Oh, come on. Just telling you what it is. I'm normally a few months ahead with this stuff. Sometimes a few years ahead with this stuff. When you say over. Why do you say that? You just yeah. said it was the, the girl, the girl, the girl rapper wave is is finito. How you just changed? So. You just said a couple of weeks why? ago that it was lit. I wonder why. No, I'm, I said the cream rises to the top, so Lotto shall remain. She will. Uh, Flo Millie shall remain. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, Rhapsody will always be there, but she wasn't really a part of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but all of that, go find a girl, send her to Columbia. Get it done. Put her in the studio with and Mike Will or any one of them niggas. Uh -huh. All of that planting the girl in the scene, getting the record, and it taking off. That wave is over. I think labels are looking at it like very few of y'all are selling records. It's too much work to get your coin back. We got to go do brand deals all over the world with y'all. Y'all are expensive. Some of y'all are annoying. And none of these records are working. But none of these records are working. Y'all ain't gonna wanna hear it from me, but the girl rapper wave is over. Damn, Natasha, she said Flo Millie is, is she? Hold on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Natasha, you don't like Flo Millie? I like Flo Millie. Flo Millie is kind of dope. You don't like Flo Natasha. Millie? Natasha. That's, that's one rare, one of the females I like around in, 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 in this rap era. Only very few. I'm surprised. He's <laughs> very surprised. <laughs> but I'm gonna pass it to you guys. Ronnie, what do you think about what uh, Joe Budden says about how, you know, uh, uh, some of these female rappers, you know, you know, they started off hot, but now they're going to, you know, the, they can see the wave ending and everything. Uh, the details he was saying, what's your take on it? Uh, I disagree with Joe Budden. I think uh, I think um, the girl, uh, the girl ratchet wave is not over because remember, at the same time, we're still going to have hood rat chicks. <laughs> A long hood rat chicks still remain. Music like that going to always... It's gonna be on would be on top. Prime example, look at Little Kim. Little Kim was doing the same type of music, and they call her pretty much one of the queen of hip hop. One of the queens. I ain't gonna say she is the queen. I said one of the queens of hip hop. You had Nicki Minaj who came in the game doing the same exact thing, but later changed her music into what she's doing now. Some of these girls, they're gonna they they doing it now because they understand that ratchet girls gonna always buy their music, and now that the fellas gonna always gonna like to see women get women twerk. Now, can it can it be more consistent? Of course, they could be more consistent in the aspect of not doing the same type of music over and over and over again. But remember, you got to keep it in mind. Some of these girls do things so they could get a trend going, but later down the line, probably by the second year, things are changing. They'll change it up, their music style. They won't do the same thing again. Like Prime and Down, he missed a lotto. I don't like lotto. I think lotto music is trash. However, some people may disagree. They might know she she may be a a very good artist later on, just give her some time, let her evolve, and then um, she'll do good. Like, there's there's people that have been in the industry that used to do drill rap. They don't do drill rap anymore because they evolve. They do what is hot right now for the moment, but later down the line, they're going to evolve in music. That was I'm going to be shocked. Like, for, cause remember, I agree in the aspect of, I used to say the same thing, I'm like, give oh, sex you read two years, you'll be done. But mind you, when you have that type of wave going, and then you have women that support that because remember some a lot of people might say oh the man don't really uh support that that's fine but remember women buy things women are the number one consumer so if women are feeding into that buying the records listening to the records especially in miami they love sexy red so they doing all of that i don't see them going anywhere i'm just i'm just sorry i i don't i don't see it happening go ahead i came so for me i've always said this if your music is not good for consumption, it's not going to last. A lot of music that female rappers put, and let's forget it, if you're making music for a certain demographic, that certain demographic, if you're trying to be major, you're not going to be able to last. Nobody's not going to be able to book you. Some people are an exception of the rule. Trina, she's still been able to get booked for shows, still all in. Her music is timeless. You know what I mean? But a lot of these girls who are here, they make music. We don't hear about them no more. What happened to Dej Loaf? Where is she? But that's bad, but that's bad management team. Their that, management team didn't do a good job. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that for the record. Yeah, Most no, of the time is their bad management team. But go ahead. I, I agree with you. But let's say if you're hot enough, you're gonna be poking the industry. Drizzy. 
Tink, Gloss Up, Cash Doll. It's a, it's a number of these people. Shout out to D Degenerate. What's good, family? The Avengers is all over here. So when you're not making a good digestive in music, you're not going to transcend. Lauren Hill can still make music and still get booked for shows. Um, Summer Walker, and, and I know that's not applying to rap. Her music is timeless. Scissor. But I don't know what female rapper that I could say that I pull up today. I'm going to be honest with you. I've... I've never really found a female rapper I could sit and listen to a whole CD because I'm a man and some of the stuff just doesn't apply to me. That's my take. Um, For me, what Joe is really, um, talk, uh, really talking about everything, I think, well, I'll just say this. Like, there you got the rare ones, like Sexy Red, you know, like her, with her, you know, she's, you know, you know, you know, you see she's grimy, twerking, everything, and you know, I think Sexy Fred is, is the first to really break out like that, as in, you know, an underground rapper who's, you know, twerking, you know, you know, my uh, <laughs> my, my my dang thing, my booty hole, da 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 all that type of stuff. She's the one who used to break out like that. First, I thought it would be Supiano to do that, do that, but you know, as you see, Supiano is still kind of underground in a way and everything. Um, but but I'll just say this, you know, I think, you know, there's, you know, we at that top of the game, like we said, Sexy Red and everything, you know, now, you know, she's like last year, she really jumped up, you know, I've seen her with Drake, you know, that, that really helped out um, going to music festival. I, I remember she went to the festival with Travis Scott in Europe. I can't remember what country it was. Uh, that really kind of boosted out and everything. So. I thought with just with Sexy Ray, it was just like a one hit, one hit wonder and everything. But I had to see how the music industry really push, push. I mean, just really pushed her. Like I never seen something like this before. You know, they never did really like Trina like that. Like really kind of push her in and in, in up that like, number one spot. A few other ones I haven't seen like that too. Um, so I can like with, with Sexy Ray is that right now. She just have a baby, and you know, she's more of a, more of the, the you know the party chick. You, you can cool with it and everything. You know, she's gonna make part of music and everything. Now, with you know her longevity, I don't see a, a big longevity of her being that the main mainstream. You know, maybe she will come come down on levels and everything, and still talk about ratchet stuff. I can see that, but I don't see. Um, I kind of agree with Joe. It's like seeing see women just, you know, get on there and really have make, uh, uh, well, I, well the, no, you know, actually I'm going to take that back because it's usually the summertime. You see women, they come out with a big hit and everything. And, and it's, it's, it's the summertime is really big for women and everything. You know, it's summertime, it gets hot, you know, you want to shake a little bit, you know, da, 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 da. But longevity wise, I don't see some of these women having longevity and everything. I see right now Cardi B, she's struggling. I'm not saying she's struggling right now, but you can see really Cardi B really, really taking her time to come out, to win, to come out with her, her music video, you know? Cause usually with Cardi B, you know, you know, only, she only came up with two or three songs last year. And now this year she just came out with a song and everything. So you see with, with Cardi B, she's really got to really take her time and see, you know, what can I do? Because there's so much stuff that's kind of so much stuff people are doing, uh, the music that Cardi B is doing, there's other artists that do the exact same thing and everything. Not saying Cardi B is going to fall out, but it really kind of tested her what's her longevity and everything. <laughs> and I believe Cardi B, she said she's coming out with an album this year. You know, I don't know when, but she's coming out with an album this year. But I just feel like with some of these female, female artists and everything, you know, what type of longevity are you going to have? You know, are you going to have a two year uh, longevity, three year longevity? Five year longevity because there's a lot of you know there's very, there's a lot of uh, female rappers who doesn't have a big longevity like that. It's only very few, very few rappers who have a longevity like that who else can reach range to 10, 20, 30 plus years. And only person I can think that really have a longevity and who's been killing it back, especially back in the 2010s, and that's and she's still part of right now is Nicki Minaj. You know, you know Nicki Minaj is is the only person that I know who really have a longevity. Who just been who's been not just a rapper but also a pop star too. The women I see now, you know, I don't I question longevity. You know, maybe three years tops and everything. Could but can sexy rich, you know, extend it? Maybe she can, maybe she not.
But for me, the women that I see right now, I don't see their longevity last in three or four years. I might could change, you know, we don't know, you know, not just the women who listen to music, we don't know how people, you know, <coughs> people that uh, take it internationally as well, because not just music here in America, how, you know, their music can, can go out internationally as well, you know, our people internationally is gonna listen to music as well. You know, we'll see, we'll see that this year, we'll see that next year and everything. But going on to longevity, these women, I don't really don't see their longevity last, like I said, three or four years. Can I be wrong? I could be wrong, but just got to see. For, just got to see. No, I want to say, put, put up Ash in the comment first. Shout out to Y High. He's also in the building. I, I like that. He said, Cat's dog got me feeling like dark skinned girls don't get promotion and, and love like women try and tell us about. Yeah, um, the thing with the dark skinned women, remember, is the sex appeal. A lot of people think dark skinned women don't have a lot of sex appeal. That's why they don't get promoted the way that other light skinned women do. But of course, there's also there's a lot of colorism when it comes to the aspect of the industry. They always put light skin before us and then the dark skin in the back. But that's how it always been. It's been like that for centuries. The only way for that to change, Cash Dog needs a stronger management team to push her forward. Go ahead, I can't even put um, Joe No Harder. Go ahead. How long does sex and ratchet sales for a look at Nicki Minaj? We ain't gonna hear about Ice Spice in a year. Facts. Oh no, um, ratchet gonna always sell because remember you're gonna always have strip club, you're gonna always have um prostitution, you're gonna always have like stuff like that. So it's gonna always sell. Remember, like I said, you're gonna always have hood rat chicks. Hood rat mm -hmm. chicks ain't going nowhere. As long as hood rat chicks remain. It's always gonna be like that. Prime example, Jonah gave a great. I totally forgot. He he mentioned Carly B. Carly B started her out her fame from love and hip hop for being ratchet. A lot of girls gravitated to her because she related to a lot of people in the hood. And that's she was entertaining on Instagram. And she and she was entertaining on Instagram too. too. That, that also that's also true too. Another fact. So you when you see stuff like that, that's how they're gonna last long. Sexy Red, I see Sexy Red going to reality show. Hell, you know. You, you know, if a lot of people still copy things like that, when you see someone like on well, Carly B who came from that and able to capitalize and make millions off of that, go ahead and do the same thing. And like I told you, Nicki Minaj did the same as that game before she transitioned over. So that is how they going to play the game. It's a game. It's how you're going to play it. Is I'm going to use these audiences that I have right now and help and come and allow them to come with me as I transition to something else. That's what, to me, a smart businesswoman would do or her management team should be able to do is say, hey, now it's time for us to switch it up. Now you got the audience, now you got the people's attention, let's go this route. And your audience will follow you because right now, Sexy Red is the hottest person in the game. She's hotter than a gorilla. Gorilla at one point was hot, but she fell off because you know why? She didn't number transition. She stayed where she at. You gotta learn how to transition. Go ahead, do it. I say with this, only one person to, um, I, I can name one rapper too. She ain't put out, she said this too. She said, I ain't put on my new music for three years because y'all were, because people was really selling her music and everything. And she saw, and she's a really business per person too. As the, and that's Sweetie, you know, we have heard Sweetie put on her album in three years. And she did say, you know, you know, she probably did want to try something different, but you know, just putting out songs in here and there, it's like, you know, people just not feeling my art, her music and everything. Now, not saying, you know, you know, Sweetie is, you know, a, a really good rapper or anything like that. I think she's, you know, mediocre. That's just mean and everything. But, you know, seeing that for Sweetie, what she said, you know, what she, what she was saying, you know, okay, cool, you know, what would it affect a sexy red? Really affect a ice spice and everything? Because, you know, they're, you know, even though, you know, light spice, you know, she got the, the look, it's the sex appeal, you know, being light skinned and being, I believe, I believe she's Dominican and everything. You know, and also maybe her management team, you know, you know, really pushing her, you know, her music. Well, I have to say this, her, you know, beefing with um Lotto and everything, that's really gonna kind of, you know, push her and Lotto into you know into some controversy. And you know, they making you know, this music against each other. I guess that's gonna make some profit and everything. But you know, some of these women, you know, like Ice Spice, you know, she's cute, she's pretty, you know, she can shake ass, whatever. But you know, with her longevity, I really, really question because, you know, this listening to her rap is not really that good. You know, I'm not being disrespectful. And I'm just telling how it is. And also her performances are not really, really, really good. Not good at all. So and you and the thing is, it's like you can you kind of see like some of these rappers who who
who, 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 who really put in, put in their grind all day and, you know, really, you know, respect, you know, how they, you know, their, their, um, their appearances, their, their, their image, uh, how they rap, you know, especially how to perform because you can be a really a good, good performer on a, te- on a, um, on a video, but if, if I could go see you on a concert, if I see you on a, um, rolling out something like that, and I can see how well, you, well, you could perform, like you really, really good. Then I'm like, okay, you can do this. I could say this about, you know, Gorilla. I saw her perform uh, last year and, and uh, Rolling Loud. You know, she, you know, she was ratchet, but, you know, she, Gorilla know how to perform. I give her that. I also saw Lotto perform too. She's a really, really, I mean, she's, her rap is okay, but she can really put on a show. Like, performer wise, she can really perform. Um, and, and it goes by that how you, how you perform, you know, concerts and, 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 um, and a music festival too, because you might be, you know, so, so, on the music video or decent, you know, with your lyrics and everything. But if you can put out a performance and people like your performances, you know, that could definitely help you out. Just gonna add that on there as well. No, but the thing with Ice Spice, 